Farscape 2000 The Hidden Memory This episode opens with Moya. She's weaving and yawning drunkly in space. Her engine efforts powers up from down crazy in an attempt to stabilize her flight. The scene shifts to her command where Rigel and Zidane speak with pilot via clamshell viewer. The noted arrival Crassus command carrier, a Garrick base, where John remains a prisoner Scorpius. Rigel, why the yachts are we still here? Power's on board, isn't it? We should starve us away from here before Crisis finds out where we are. Quite calmly, as the crew tries to keep their balance on layers from running next to contrating, we read it's barely looking at them. We can't stub us, it's not available. Not in noise propulsion. You will be fortunate just to obtain an orbit. The damn but pilot, I thought Maya was prepared for one more star bus. Perhaps she had, was, but no longer. Her tone betrays some alarm. She's gone into what appears to be full labour. Why do outrage? She chooses now to go into labour? A little inconvenient. But she has little choice, and she is very, very, and she is very frightened. He looks and sounds a little frightened himself. So then, quickly, soberly. But that is a natural reaction during a birthing cycle. Pilot Moya tells me that it is not a natural birthing cycle. She's not as certain what they're there. So he's wrong with a child. He speaks weak with anxiety. It's not a normal Lephaeum. Why do you say in exchange of apprehensive look? I'll just, soon after cu- we go to Aaron's quarters, Zidane is tending her. Zidane, as he helps Aaron sit up, take a drink. How are you feeling? Is Aaron better? Zidane is cheating and Diego enter. Lay back down. Maybe some time before our strength returns completely. Our strength returns completely. Aram to Zinier. Here, have you to thank for my life, Zinier. A little prickly. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, another one. Aaron? Yeah, what other one? Zinier, Julia. Oh, don't you remember her? Avon. Aaron, you met in Zibrian. Where's Quetan? Z- Zidane. You should rest now, Aaron. Aaron, where is he? There you go with Warriors' straightforward honesty. Quetan is still on the economic base. Captured by peacekeepers, probing his mind using something called a Dora chair. Aaron, she abruptly raises herself back up, up a bit, bit and asks urgently, "Why didn't anyone tell me? Why haven't you gone after him?" They go almost cutting off. A hundred peacekeepers down there. Aaron, I could not infiltrate the base without being detected. Aaron, well, I can. With some effort, she rolls out of her bed. A short while time later, dressed in one of the PK commander uniforms. Quiet during ABL. And straining and driving down Moyes' corridors. Diego, is a flanker. Don't try to stop me, Diego. Diego wouldn't. Aaron is still strong enough to go alone. Diego, no, you're not. Coming with you. If you can be an idiot, I can be an idiot. And well, a warrior may be of some use down there. But then, he all stop. Why do you stay here? Then, John might need me. If he gets damaged by that chair, then I can help him. Aaron, I am hoping quite to be strong enough to fight the chair and continue on. We cut to current base. John is the Aaron door chair. Flashes from his memory. Play across the chair screen. Flash. Follow from the DTTBRC, referring to the wormhole damage. On module second stage destruction flash. John from the premiere talking to Cavella for the module as he enters the flash flower hole. Flight recorded getting all this flash. Aaron into interchange from TTBBC in the module as John tries to create another wormhole. What do you call that manoeuvre we're doing now? John Slingshot. Flash John also from TTBCRC. You see as he sees the wormhole form. Holy mother, that's a wormhole. It's unstable. Cycle on the chair ends. John is gasping, a horse, barely able to speak or swallow. Crisis, agitated, angry. No use resisting, Quentin. Chair will rip the memory from you, even if you fight it. John slowing and drooling. I'm not resisting. Nim, the chair says he is. He's holding Max, something. Crisis, then increased the distraction. Then, does so. Scorpio stands by and watches. John screams, a dozen distinct memories explode. The scream. Well, seem too fast to make sense as Crisis stars vicious, vicious, viciously. Show us what you're, you're blocking. John, between his teeth, I'm not blocking. Well, fumbled for memory flashes, he fights to avoid betraying you here. 
black wormholes. He make laughing sounds. He close, close the suburb. Scopitz nods to see him, near him to push the uh, pots and the over a chair. The John roars in agony. They do cut to John and start sail. John is lying on the floor on his side, sleeping fitfully. He's wakened by a sound of something ticking and turning like a combination lock. John, mumbling to Stark, what are you doing there? Stark, don't talk to me. Stay, you stay awake. Stay where you are. Don't talk to me. You're not talking to me. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my talking in the chair. John, ah, you like the chair. Stark, eyeing John warily. I love the chair, I love the chair, I love the chair. John, so you pushing up and crawling towards Stark. You're spying me, Stark. Scopey sent you to spy me. Stark, mildly, trying to conceal something you're doing. No, I'm not spying, no spy for Scopey. John, what are you doing there? Stark, nothing, nothing. John, crimping, crimping closer. What is that? Stark, no, he explodes in action and pins John against the floor. Well, stop quietly. If you don't stop, I'm going to have to kill you. John, give, give it a couple of days. I think Scobby and the peacekeeper Barbie do it for you. Scobby has got snarls and with force of Belial plays his ragged appearance. He shoves John back with his side. So, John sits up and gazes at Stark. You're not crazy, are you, Stark? Don't know. But if you think I am, they won't don't bother me so much. John, so what are you hiding there? Start giving in to temptation to talk. My baby he sat sat about across the cell to show John is a magnet. Netics co crypt crypt encoder, made from scraps of metal, been collecting it for two cycles. John what, what, what does it do? Start it if you get secrets right, can lock the door, but can he but you can only try, take one sequence at a time. It only lasts and costs in both appreciation and contempt. You're going to be here forever. The way you for that thing to get you out. So like at least I'm trying something. He returns his side of the cell and curses to turn back to Don. You tell him about my baby, won't you? John said again. Now I'll keep things from him this far. But from him this far, I can keep this. I'm going to even quiet his own. Everybody can block faults for a while, Scranton. But eventually you'll tell the chair, I'm the one, only one that can block faults forever. He rises as if to turn his work at a door, door lock. John, how many times have you been in it? Dark, over a hundred sessions. John, it's a major it cell. What is it? What's important you can keep it from the chair? Dark, what do you know? John, nothing. I'm telling you the truth, the truth. Why I'm blocking, there's nothing to, with, to do with. Chokes and screams and wormholes. He look, looks near tears. Cut back to the lake, bearing Maria's, Aaron, Diego, and Zanan leave one of her pods, thus abandoning her to fend for herself during a natural birth, which no one but Nemi and Podigal have very been covered for the cost of fault. Cover up against the government back base confound pod. Zan, are you right? Aaron, you're tired, I'm fine. A sign of that they, they, they spotted us, Diego, Diego. Nothing tracking. The tiding scanning blind. A genie created, created. Seems to be holding. Aaron. So let's hope so. Said Anne. What about what about when we land, Aaron? There won't be any sensors up top. Sensors will give way that where where the base underground. About to set down and we're gonna make base roof. John and turn uh, the dark cell. Genie's voice is heard as she patches in a cell's surveillance camera system again. To contact John, Gina, whispering, John. Stark startled. Well, who's that? Gina's a bit louder. John, John. To Stark, where's the voice coming from? John, screaming to hush. To sh- Stark, shut up. Don't say a word. Peers directly. Surveillance camera. Gina, Gina, John, keep back to the camera. You, they can see, but they can't hear. John, frantic and discombobulated from torture. Right, right, I remember. He turns away quickly. I remember, did you get the paranormal tissue to Aaron? Gina, Gina got it off the base, but I don't know if she made it back to Moya. In time, Stark whispering, Who is there? Who are you talking to? John, a friend. Can you help us get out of here? But we need, we both have a secret to keep, Gina. I need your, some help. I need you to get them off my back for a while. Gina, I think of something, John. Don't worry. I'm going to go now. I'll stay I can't stay trapped in for long. John thanks. He plays his hand to the camera. Eugenie looks worried as she signs off and gathers her equipment. Maya still rolling and heaving as Eugenie 
pilot and rider who tried to cope, pilot on Cairn Seal River. Reading from manual, Moyer's data shows doors indicate might be best to get the offspring out as fast as possible. Roger, how the Yotes do we do that? Pilot, seeing oh, ever so slightly perplexed. He says we can't try a blasting tramex or coolant when Moyer's fell or Coimbra. Roger, loudly, nervously. Then do it. I must. I want these things over with. I want to be still. Chile, interrupting. Roger, Roger, huh? Chile, you want to stay calm for during birth? I do. I am calm. I could see hundreds of pro- prodigy. Hmm. They are the only official ones. They are the only official ones with my wife's. Jenny. Oh, then you should know something about this. You shall be able to help us, Rachel. I was never present at birth. Do you not one? Rachel shot. Well, of course not. I think this is a terrific, trifle difficult. Don't you? Privacy. Privacy was tiny. Tiny and handsome. Like his fair father. Jenny rolls her eyes. Is that Moya launches one day. Oh, uh. Dirt based techs and a Nemean civilian performing maintenance work. Aurea chair. Bricks, okay, I packed it up in here. Try again. Zim, hurry up, Scorpius, what's maximum power now? Tech, you must. We just had to reroute the Annex cable. We were, in, we were in, onto it. Do you know, entering and looking under the chair, perform platform to where Bix is working. Hey, Bix, you need some help? What? Some, what, some help? Bix, oh, hi, Jeannie. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, she wiggles into the workplace under the chair. It's Bix, oh, if you put the double cable on line, I can finish pitching in. Bix, I need to glare to get out there. I'll help, still sure. All right, then. You know, this is better than me. Passes his kind of hand, squeezes out. Jeannie, thanks. He sets his advice in the port and the chair. Neiman, status of port. I'll be back on line. Tech. Checking power. There was now. It's just a few mic knots. Zim, good. The post of listen. The exchange in here continues to work. Are you ready? Tech. Well, all levels are go. Scopy says it's Jeannie. Hustles to finish. Then she's. Oh, what's she doing? Well, finish. What's she's doing? Cooperation complete. Neiman, the chair is ready, Scopius. Scopius, good. Jeannie emerges from under the chair. Followed by Jeannie, covers her tools. And leaves two. Shortly after, Jeannie is back to the little excess shaft she's been working. From she's trying to reach John again by the cell surveillance camera. Jeannie muttering to herself as she looks for John. Come on, come on, John. John speaks slurring badly. Someone is approaching the door to the cell. Jeannie, I can't talk now. I looks like we've got company, John. Jeannie, John, when you get in that chair, just remember one thing. John, what? Jeannie, remember when we kiss on the Zibidian. John, no, no, that's been staying blocked. Jeannie, trust me. Jeannie, I do trust you. Jeannie, then remember the kiss. The cell door opens and start lunges for it, muttering, nattering madly to cover for John. Dark falsetto. Scorpio, Scorpy, God, get back, stop. He pushes back, pushes Scott back and cell. Get inside. Dark goes, crashes, Scorpy, enter. Scorpy, well, Scorpy, let me go, get into the chair. Crashes, sees Stark. This is seduce him. Stark has a high pitch of yip and quietens down. Scorpy, have you finished? Crisis, yes. Scorpy is pacing casually towards John. You see, Crichton, this is what I am trying to keep you from. John, yes, Scorpy. You all heart soldiers hoist John to his feet. Scorpy, you show me everything that's in your brain. I won't talk to you any more. John, I show you everything. Scorpy, the chair indicates you're holding back. John, chair's wrong. Scorpy, you won't. Then what won't you tell me? Oh, well, you know everything else. I oh, know you're living on a. I study the fighting of escape prisoners. I know that the fighting fragment. Do you know who Daddy is? He laughs out his ocean defiance. Scorpius, why are you doing this to yourself? Why is it so important? Why are you willing to go through? Why are you willing to go through all this? Do I have not blocked anything? Scorpius, bring him. He goes to tries to t- turns to go. Fraser get, getting his head dig again behind Digger's right his back. Enjoy ripping the truth out of you, Crichton. Scorpius lab. John is in the Aryan chair, the door chair. John screams a chair. He left at last, but allows himself to call the kiss he shared with Jeannie. But his alien memory flickers and sequences and something else. Memory of something that never happened. It's his fake memory. John is born crisis command carrier. Kissy woman, crisis enters. Crisis command, Crichton. It's good to see you join your stay here with us, John Crisis. You don't you ever not? Crisis, stop. 
There's a pause and the chair powers down. What is this? Place the memory image of the iron door ch- chair screen. Scopus, a John pants the grass super, very remotely. My question is well, Captain. See if we need a power chair again. It looks like a tape being restarted. False memory plays on. Much to the bits and pieces cobbled together. My John's account of crisis and in 2OBM. John, what do you want? Crisis, I'm here to thank you. John, you're here for what? Crisis has never been one of the elite. Do you know that? My parents are common farmers. I was saying hi from their commune. Young boy rose through pairing physical ranks. I wit to my hatred. But still some doors were closed always closed to me. John, well, thanks for the family tree, Crisis. Oh, frankly, I don't give a damn. Crisis, with the wormhole information you've given me, I have the power to rise where I should where, where I should be. Power chairs powered down. John sits jumping steadily as he's having hiccups of mild seizures. Crisis of Scopus. You don't actually believe any of that, do you? Come on, they made it all up, Scopus. You can't make up things on the chair. For the chair, Captain. You know that. He walks slow, slowly to such a John and appears him. What is that? Hmm? John got really stirred. I don't know. It kind of looks like an episode of Melrose Place. Crisis, what do you mean? You don't know what it is. John, I don't know. John Ferris, tell him. He strikes John's face. What is it? John pulling together his wits to go f- do whatever is, is what he's been given. Is, is that the crisis? Is the game out? Crisis? What? John, crisis first found found out about where was when I came from. It gave him information. This changed my life. Crisis, that's a lie. Because he hits John in the face again. John, no, it's not. Crisis delivers another huge blow to John, seizes his face and screams, He's lying, damn you, cry and tell him the truth. John is still strapped in a chair, but Crisis has been pulled out of him and being coolly questioned, quite Scorpius. So nothing what he said what we saw is true? Crisis, no. Scorpius, were you born in farming commune? Crisis, yes. Scorpius, are you suspected from it from it to be but by the peacekeepers? Crisis, yes, but Scorpius, how does the know this? Crisis. Well, you must have stolen it from the database. Scorpius. Where? While he was in security, free containment. Chris angry. No, I don't know why how he did it. But what you saw on there wasn't true, Scorpius. Of course it's not. But there's only one way to make sure it's a lie. Crisis. How? Scorpius. For you to go in a chair. Crisis. Does I just laugh me? Scorpius. Yes. Crisis. No, Captain. Being subjected to such an indignity. Scorpius is always the first for everything to them. Get Quentin back to this cell. Crisis, you have overstepped yourself, Crisis, Scorpius. You haven't got the numbers to put me in this chair. Scorpius, casting a glance over his shoulder at Crisis, don't I? Soldiers ending, but Crisis, put Crisis in the chair. Soldiers don't move, Scorpius addresses them. Command your loyalty. If it must be, difficult to maintain for an officer like Crisis. Officer on the edge and out of control, Crisis. Talk to me, Scorpius, not to them. God is annoying him. I have an unconditional authority on Gamerbeck base. Can you get this? Will you go to chair and stop that? You have to kill me. And all my men prepared to do that? Chris, do listen do not listen to me. Him. That is an order. Scovis, do you know what do you know what do what you know in your hearts? The right thing, but put Crisis in the chair. Go for the gummic base. Aaron and Diego and Zan, prepared to enter Diego. What's the last gear for the transport pod? So Zan, what are you are you doing with his explosives? Then are grading these primitive things. And I found an excess shaft that should be able to get down to the base and look for Crichton. Uh, Zidane, are you strong enough? Aaron, I better be. She dogs back for the ruined looking st- structure and forms the back roof of the base and makes to open the door. The excess shaft of her hand is shaking badly. She goes, it matters to stop. Gets the door open, begins a descent into the base. John and Slark sail. So he gets the ball. John is shaking, twitching as he hugs himself. John, I don't know how she did it, but she did it. Starts softly, rice quieting. John slowing, seizing slightly. Tries to get up to his feet. No, no. We've got to do something. Got to get the door open. But John is too weak for his torment. For his torment, he's door and chair. He collapses on the floor. Don works his out and pulls John across to his head. And shoulders rest in John's lap. And Stark unbuckles the leather straps. Skill the metal mask to the right side of his face. Beneath the mask, there is only a brilliant shimmering white light. Turns his head so light shines on John's face, stark here. John is shivering and he eases off as he relaxes. 
Huh? What is that? What did you just show me? Dark, I'm able to give you a few thoughts, that's all. Where's my friend? He strokes John's hair smoothly, places his mask. John, how long have you been here? Dark, two cycles, peacekeepers killed most of my people. They kept me alive because I'm interested in them. I'm able to hide faults that chair can't touch. Uh, it's almost ironic. That made, what made me slave keeps me alive. John, what made you a slave? John, start this. He touches the mask. I am an abrotic safe race. I don't think that we don't feel. But it's only our, but, but it's only our feelings don't always show. Just as this can hide our feelings. We are able to clear our faults from our minds. Why like no deep inside people was were never seen. Scope is left. Crisis in our own chair. A door chairs, manifesting his flashes across the screen in rapid succession. Most of recognised memories of scenes from T.O.B.M. Snippets are connected only by the subject matter. Crisis brother, Tavio, was killed when the ship clipped as far as Gate 1, just after John arrived in part of the galaxy. John, I did everything I could to avoid him, Flash. Crisis father, the Kuta is, is here to pick you up. I'm telling you to protect him. Do you understand? He's your brother. Chair powers down. His crisis screams. Crisis, no, no, no. Rob is leaning in closer, sobbing. Why in crisis? Who is that? Crisis, my father. Don't turn it off. Scovis, don't you like your past, Crisis? Crisis, turn it off. Scovis, casually into them. Can't you get, can't you get to know, can't you get what he knows about wormholes? Them, no, he's fighting it. He scoops up the pots and chair again. Crisis, Cuts loose with terrible shrieking and crying and wailing. Chris says, I don't know anything. To Aaron making a way for the quarters. The other base, he's joining a big gun. A couple of soldiers passed her. And one seems to ask her, what's up? He goes by. She startles and take, looks back at him, continuing on her goal. Dean's room with training her would have told her location of. A PK tech is just leaving. Aaron pushes her back inside against the wall. Aaron. Is surveillance in this cell? Gillian. Now Aaron realizes it. Uh, reaches her and enters. Gillian watches over. Then recognizes her. Aaron. Aaron. She says nothing for a long while. Moment as she walks past Gillian. Sits red. Where's Gillian? Gillian has told me what you did for me. Thank you. Gillian, what are you doing here? Pranial tissue takes at least ten solid days before. Aaron, I don't have ten days. I need to know where Crichton is. Gillian. They have him on level 9 containment. Aaron makes to get up with some effort. A call of the EA stops her. There's no way to reach him without a direct order from Scorpius. Don't block any memory from them. Scorpius thinks it's something to do with precious wormholes, but it doesn't. Aaron, what does it have to do with? Jenny's he, he, me, he's protecting me. But as soon as Scorpius finds out he knows nothing about wormholes, he'll kill him. There goes the end of Ruthless Gunnerit Base, making preparations for a getaway. Damn, referring to explosives. I need some more rocks if we're going to hide the rest of these, Diego. Peacekeepers come from up through their rises. This is where they're going, going to the surface. Diego fretting. Heading is a quarter as he raises the leave. Well, I hope these things work, otherwise. There isn't much to stand between us and them, said Anne casually. I always wanted to ask you, Diego, the quarter bait for a warrior. And it seems very inconventional weapon. She walks away with her explosives, she follows. Dago intensely as the and stops and listens. Many circles of the race, even more feared than peacekeepers, the Telex. They led a siege of my planet for over a hundred solid days. Final assault came, all our warriors had were these unconventional weapons. My great great my own great grandfather died in the war. Final days come, Laxins believe the quarter bait will lead us to freedom. Then I understand Dago. Please forgive my forgive my curiosity. Dago, there's another thing we can do for you. So then what? They're smiling my quarter blade. I can cut stones for you. He exits the day and looks at him. In some wonder, John sells John and Silent Cell. They hear Aaron the Hexagon outside Hexagon. Look, I'm not going to tell you this again. There's nothing in there. Aaron, I'm just telling you what I picked up uh, what I picked up from Crisis Carrier. Stark hits into John. What's going on, John? Shh. And I picked up an authorised magnetic pulse coming from somewhere in its level. Heskin, there's no signal some coming in from here. Then Aaron makes a spectral sound. Heskin is that free. Look, I'll prove it to you. She pulls uh, a scan of the cell. See nothing. I see nothing. Suddenly a scanner chirps. What the hell was that? Aaron, absolutely nothing. 
Ashkan, he opens the cell and enters. The scanner's chirping, but becomes very excited as it starts with the vicinity. Get out of it, Stark. Pulls Stark on the floor, shoves him across the cell, finds a code encryptor. Stark goes ballistic and John is danger of attacking Heskin. Stark all the while fights him and yelling at John as he portrayed him Heskin to Aaron as she enters. Looks like you're right. I'm moving to another cell, Aaron. Don't have to be uh, moved. Don't, they don't really moved. Heskin, why not? Aaron, because they're coming with me. And with vicious straight, it takes him out. John and uh, freeze. Stark, who is she? John as they stare at Aaron. Lord of uh, Amphenamine, PQ. PQ, Commander Glory. That is a radiant Aaron's son. Dark, good question. Incredulous. How many peacocks do you know on this base? John meets the sound with his nose. Aaron, are you right, Quentin? John staring. Yeah. How do you know what I mean? Aaron, better now. Come on, we better go. Start whispering to John as they follow her. Sorry. Back to crisis in Aaron chair. He's leave, giving up the, another memory for T.O.B., him and his assistant, Lieutenant Treg. Board his command carrier speaking to the events of two OBM crisis. And no one outside this chamber knows that Admiral orders. Take those sword to that, sir. Crisis make, makes us as if he's caress her, then but he snaps her neck, neck instead. Chair powers down and crisis shudders, panning, twitching like John and been, had been able to speak. Crisis Scorpius, so now I know you why you tried to fight the chair. Hmm. And then are you those? There are any other more barriers? Them, no. No, not that's what he's, not what he's, not that's what he's fighting, fighting to hold. Scorpius then, that crisis, Scorpius then, then what Scorpius saw about wormholes. It was not, not this captain's memory. At the moment of Kilgrave's voice, the space security system goes on warning and security breach. Scorpius and his scum unit. Scorpius, soldier and com. So the problem of his escape, Scorpius, how? Soldier, he's a peacekeeper working for him. Scorpius seal the space, everything. He needs. It must not reach the surface. Aaron, Jean, and John and Stark on a great way run through Gravamek base. Aaron scanning around the corner, it's clear. Come on, they run a ways and take cover. Go, go, to Dinia, you first. Dinia, she makes a start but ducks back. Seeing soldiers fought peacefully, but come on. Takes off another way. Putting John with her. Fair and follows. He loses Stark somewhere in the chaos and he makes his way to the roof of his own. Gia opens the gate in the floor. She and Aaron John pile in and crouch under it. PK's converging them in here. The air is standing on the right top of them. Looks around. Gives her orders. Keep searching. She and the soldiers move off. Cut back to Moya, rolling and twisting of the labour pains. Cut the pilot on Sam Shell Viewer. Still only reading the manual of the funny and birth giving. Tatini and Rigel. Pilot Magroni, oh no, Rigel, what do you mean, oh no? But to give birth, my MSC is the outside environment, which I wonder why we didn't look this up before. She alarmed. You mean this place? What, Maya? Have to make a vacuum in here? To here? Pilot, yes, adding quickly. Can't stop her, Tatini is snapping. How much time do we have? Pilot might help us, I don't know. Maybe 18 microts. Rigel well, panicking. 18 microts? Well, where do we go? Pilot, leave me. By ten stable, by the irritated. Oh well, that's very lucky for you, isn't it? It's in your propagato. Our tenure is irritated. We can't get out to you in eighteen minutes. What's pilot scrambling? There are pressures, tanks, and maintenance bay six. Just to go, go now. By the wells, as he aims his a chair for maintenance bay six, and takes off as fast as he can fly. Chair close behind. Streak into the bay, Rigel dies into one or two small tanks. Tina tries to get into the other. Tina's locked, pilot's locked. Rigel leering from the hatch of his. Yes, it is, my dear. Plenty of room in here. Tina will get in there. She yanks first into the hatch of the locked tank. Pilot, that's all there is. Get inside. You're near ten mic watch trying to dive in. Rigel showing her him inside as he yells. Oh, my back and slams the hatch shut behind him. Vapors escape alarm sound. Single day in progression. Bob Meyer. Back to the at base. Gina been scout scouting the situation. Turns where Aaron and John wait under the gate. Aaron, right. Any other ways to the off the base? Hey now. Panting, they're stealing off the access shafts. Means they're shutting down everything. John, they've got to be somewhere way out of here. Gina, no way. Anything else? Are you in a lock? They just put on need to a dent. 
chip from a senior officer, John, and very shaky. Makes to get up. All right, let's beg a senior officer. Aaron is stopping him. He's worse shape than she is. No, I'll do it, Quentin. Jadina, you stay with him. He exits the great. He exits the great. Back to Moyo. Training him, Rigel, squirm. Company in the cramped confines of the pressure tank. Rigel's shivering to, up to come face to face with Shinya. Excuse me, I'm just making myself comfortable. Shinya trying to keep her face far as possible from him. What is that? Rigel, uh, what? Shinya's groaning as something touches her. That? Well, it's nothing. Shinya, you, where's your hand? Stark face. Rigel's shivering. It's down there. Rigel, not pleased with a tank mate. I know, keep it to you, keep it to your Catherine, pal. Catherine sniggers. So mourns, he reels frankly. Pilot, Rigel does something. Yo, Pilot, Pilot in his den. I'm very busy now, Chene. You it's okay? Chene, how's Moya? Pilot, sotto voice. Oh, yes, louder. The thing's coming now. I can't, I can see it. I must go to Shana. Shana, Shana's disgusted. But very short, a very high pitched voice as it sounded like air escaping a balloon and, and it's heard. Pressure tank. What was that? Roger and Mikko and Richard and voice. Nothing. Just a little bit of helium. Chini is helium. Roger, I don't like being in confined spaces. I get nervous. Chini in a treatment voice. Oh, disgusting. A tank is rocked by a giant spasm. They forget about their predicament for a moment. They look around in an alarm. Cuts on the outside of view of Moya as a vent on the body opens. Really impossible in light within. Direct base. Aaron comes to the door to scoop his lab and hears the sound of an in. She enters the crisis alone. Everyone else, having run off to search for the escapees, he's still strapped in the iron door chair. Image him breaking Aaron's neck is still on the screen. He's making small, somatic groans, groaning sounds. Aaron approaches him and she takes in the scene. Captain Chris says, What are you doing in that chair's chair? First, the neighbor's seer resisted in a strange position. Who's that? Who's there? Aaron, well, I suppose I don't should expect you to recognise my voice. Scott crashes this scorpion in you. Release me from this chair. Aaron, why? So you can kill me the way you killed Lieutenant Tag? Crisis, who are you? Aaron, I am irresistibly contaminated. Now do you know who I am? She moves into the line of vision. Crisis, Aaron's son. Aaron leaning in close to him. Does it contaminate you, Crisis? Crisis, peacekeeper. You took a blow to obey your commanding officer till death. Aaron, yes. Crisis with his words rushed out. I am still your commanding officer. Aaron loudly, but I am no longer peacekeeper. Crisis attempting to dominate her even now. You are peacekeeper for life. Oh, and the oath you took. Aaron cutting him off, angry, defiant. Your oath means nothing to me. You made sure of that. You destroyed everything. I lost everything because of you. Crisis with a huge effort to control yourself. Aaron's son. Aaron quite ignoring him. Do you know what I learned when I was away from you? Everything I lost was worth a damn. Don't want to go back to your past. Chris, I order you now. Aaron, you order me? He takes his takes his intent trip. You never order me again. Chris says, panning with fury, I'll track you down and kill you. And son, I'll give that, oh, that, I'll give you that, you my vow. And then I'll give you my vow. Aaron, you know what I give you, Chris, is your life. She walks with him to Aaron Dog Chair. Control sent, control console. I'll give you i make you watch your life. With that, she powers up chair and screech. It pops up and crisis screams and screams and screams as he leaves. Jeannie and John waiting for the great, under great John Week. Where's Aaron? Should be here by now. Jeannie hesitating. Do you want to, do you want me be, do you want to be with her, Crichton? Well, what? Jeannie, do you want me, do you want to be with officer's son, John? Laugh a sick exhaustion of also avoiding subject. Jeannie, can we talk about this another time, Jeannie? No. Don't don't think me can. You ask me to go go with you. You want me to give yourself up? You think I know? So you must be, answer me. Do you want me to be with her? Do you want to be with her? He gazes at her, at her for a long moment, too long for suddenly a great is lifted and appears. Aaron, it's only me. Let's go. John, as he joins out of the great. Aaron, did you bag yourself, senior officer? Aaron ran into an old friend. Let's go, John. Let's get out of here. He coughs and makes successful access safe. Aaron and Jillian, come on. Jillian barking, bake, 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 bulking, upset. Did you want to be with Crichton? Aaron, I'm sorry. Jillian, he wouldn't answer my question, will you? Aaron, good to love Jillian. Whatever you two have been discussing, none of my bits of Jillian. This is, he asked me to go with him. Cannot do that if he loves you. 
and forcibly Jeannie, do you have to come with us? If you don't come, it will kill you. Jeannie, I'll be okay, I. Aaron, Jeannie, you saved my life. You know peacekeepers. He'll come and he will find you. Jeannie, I will take care of myself. You take care of John, she leaves. Aaron, Jeannie, tell John at least. Come and talk to him before. The BC check, girl. Continues in the pressure direction. Gilby's lab, where he and the him a stop quite his ride in chair. Christ is limp and cantotic. Cantotic. Liam, they use the senior officer's ident chip and are climbing their vent towards the surface. Scorpius have thought as much. Liam, do you want me to burn them out? Scorpius, no, we need questions in the live. We'll take the level risers and beat them to the surface. The soldier, let's go. All they all exit in pursuit. Aaron, as he joins John in the excess shaft. Aaron, right. John, where's Jeannie? Aaron, she's not coming with us. Aaron, what? Aaron, what did you say to her? Aaron, I didn't say anything to her. It's a, it's a decision she made on her own. John, I've got to, I've got to go get her. Aaron, John, Crichton, we don't have time for this. She's gone. It's what she wants. She uses crisis. It's a dent trip to unlock the interest to shaft. Come on. John hesitates. Looking down the direction of the base of Jeannie, who was turning and jogging after Aaron. Maya, said Jeannie and Rigel, still in the pressure tank. The tanks when it steamed up, and suddenly Rigel's little forefinger hand laps against it from inside as he hear him grunting, groaning. Jeannie feels, yells frankly, still in a helium induced soprano. Jeannie, pilot, pilot, are we pressurized pressure yet? Pilot very climbing as he might have forgotten they were there. Yes, he can get out now. Jeannie, the hatch of pressure tank flies open. Jeannie stumbles out, coughing amid a filthy puff of steamy atmosphere. Finally, Rigel laying on his back on the tank, coughing and breathless. Jeannie didn't mean to. Jeannie vehemently shut up. Pilot in his den. Something still not right. Pushing off stream. Can't get clear of Maya's external vent. Continue Rigel watching Pilot on the exclamation of viewer. I get in close vigil now. Horrified, what is that? Turning the voice is back to normal now. What's wrong? What's wrong? The pilot is offering. Look, he brings up the scan of view and for infant for an F in his shape, very different from Moya. Seems to have a lot of parts that she doesn't. Do you know that Moya's child? Pilot, yes, he can. We take to feel all the young body's part, body parts. Wait a hush. There's covered in weapons. A view of the young fighting lying quietly in bed. A light just inside Moya's both event. Pilot, when Diego broke the conception wall half a cycle ago, Peter Club Calais, Calais, he released. Must have contained the DNA signature to produce weapons. She had an eye in the image of the infant with concern. Will that grow as big as its mother? Pilot possibly bigger. Rigel will Rigel control him? Or will the peacekeepers? Pilot don't know. It had never been the final weapons for. But he must have a more immediate but we have a more immediate problem. Look, both channel is not designed for this in the matter of the spring. Cannot be fly free, He's panicking. Starting to challenge its weapons. But oh no. Oh, but he's going to shoot his way out, Moya? Pilot, I think so. Might as well do something. Jenny, a biodiversity pilot. Can you force an atmosphere? Can breathe into that vent? Pilot, yes, I think so. Jenny, maybe. Maybe we can climb down to Satone's shaft. Cut steam to the child. Cut steam to the child. Can get yourself free. Pilot, you better hurry. Jenny takes off as a run. Climbing base, and Aaron and John emerge from the shaft. John is already there. Stark is already there with Diego and Sedan. Diego, they come out. It's good as you see, see you again, Sedan. I see you, Diego. Waste no time getting out. Come on, they're not far behind, Diego. Take a lead for the jumbled structures of the roof. The transport pod is on its way. Let's go. Check your weapons ready. As he set off, PK soldiers merge in the other part of the roof, getting the fan out. The different so leading officers can call the orders of a group of PK spot the fugitives. Here you go, Aaron. Watch out. Dive for covers. Weapons fire. It's a structure around them. Sedan. Cover me, Aaron. PKs and our heroes proceed to rage. Furious is running out of gunfight. Close confines of roof structures. Stark manages to get a gun and proves himself too. No slouch in the fighting department itself. He and John find himself taking cover briefly together. They move towards the transport pod. Stark. What What was the secret you were keeping hidden for Scovish down there? John. Oh, he thought it was about his doom voyage advice. About wormholes. It wasn't. It was only about the time I kissed a girl. John Stark, really? John, yeah. They burst in laughter. They burst from his post, post rifle and explode and whiz around him. Jeannie in the birthing chamber. Little if I knew him. Looks to be the size of a racing yacht. Seems to be growing 
growling, rocking itself. Jenny anxious to the little ship that they were making. Sounds like an angry mechanical bulldog. Okay, don't, oh, don't shoot me, baby boy. Just nice and calm, nice and calm. Jenny passed the little ship and begins cutting up into the wall. My little ba- ba- birth channel now. Back to the recovery base roof of the crew and Stark slowly fight their way to pod and heavy weapon fire. We see Aaron, Diego and Zan firing upon the oncoming great gaze. John Stark pulls them up again for cover. John, where are they, where were you keeping what were you keeping from them? Stark, the memory of a place I saw when I was a boy. John, huh? Must have been one other place they rejoined the fray. My own she then and life and child in the birthing chamber. She's not having no luck moving the birth along. Jenna, if I come, cannot do it, Pilot. Pilot, you have to. Jenna, you won't move. Pilot referring to greeny growing protrusion. Jenna is standing next to Maya, trying to control the offspring. But her weapon prone to fire. Jenna, so let it fire. Pilot, then Pilot, across the horror. Tell Maya to let the gun fire. A low level blast. Pilot, what? Jenna, panning, struggling to keep her footing. The infant Lithuanian's rocking show grows more agitated. I know it's crazy. There's any way we don't. Get his child out, destroy him by his bulkhead. The raging gun battle, the roof of the apparent base, the crew we groups together. Sit down, Diego, she takes cover with him. Aaron joining in, Crichton. John, he and Scarg are behind them, are coming. Start, come on, let's give him something to remember us by. John grins wickedly at him, shows him one explosive, sit down and prepared. They both laugh appreciatively. John sets it up, structural element before they join the others and clear off. A pursuing PK's approach, they place where where the crew was. I suppose he goes off in a massive ball, orange flame, effectively blow, stopping the PK's advance. They're screaming, whirling PK soldiers. Maya's birthing chamber is at the moot. Don Nato, Nero Nato, they're fighting furiously. Powers up his weapons, cheating, yelling. No, not yet. Let me let me get out of here. Pilot Zen yelling, I can't stop it, get out now. Just get out, run, you know, run. Trying to race it down the shaft out of the birthing chamber. Screaming, throws itself to between the ribs of Moyes' corridor. Walls of the fireplace fire, evil looking slimmer of green energy. Chain of Lurakely. That was a low level blast? Pilot and his pilot and his den relieved. They did it. That's being free, it's free. Chene has Moya, my pilot, she's okay. Saying a bit surprised, we're okay. To bury it, base roof. Most of the PK's pursuers have been silent. The escape closes John's set. As our crew makes their final dash to pot. pod, John brings up the rear, laying back some occasional fire and a few PKs who still follow. Suddenly, a hand falls upon his shoulder, Scorpius, cloaked up close, and now holding John back with his guns his head. Scorpius, no, quite, and you're not going with them. At that moment, Jean steps out from cover in front of him. John, she's armed, a gun trained on him. In the moment of silence, then John laughs with relief. John shoot him, Genia, shoot him. The Scorpius is standing behind John. So he swings his gun towards Genia, fires. She crumbles to the ground. John throws Scorpius off, runs towards her. There you Stark reappear. They shoot at the uh, Wizards for a false retreat. John, Genia, Diego, we must go back to the transport pod. Fire was dissipated. John picks up the wounded Genia. They run. In sight of flaming ruins of Gunnett base. Roof, so uh, uh, Scorpius walks alone. My pilot and Scorpius very through a speak with Aaron. And she and Diego and Rachel pilot slowly. Before she left the gunmit base, Gina scrambled the, f- the scanning data files. Even Chris's carrier can't find us now, which is quite f- unfortunate because we can't stop us with offspring. Hesitant, we can't even move very far at all. Aaron, thank you, pilot. How Gina? Pilot, regretfully, not good. Aaron, what about Maya's child? Pilot, she's okay. Gina, he is a boy? Yeah, pilot, yes. Rachel, approvingly, a male excellent. Diego, apparently very impressive. What kind of beast is he? Cut kind a of view when I find John floating along. Moya, like a twelve calf, next to his mother. I swear to Moya, like Jean lies in bed. John is in tend to her. John, very softly, just lie still. It's a dead menace to do its work. It'll be fine in a little while. Jean, breathing, her labour with pain. Now my lies, John. John, I'm not lying. There's long pause while you watch her. Gina, why you, did you come back for, for us? Yeah, I had to help you, Aaron. was right. If I stay there, you would have found out about me. Found out that, that I love you. John Genie, she cries out with her dying pains. Zine, she Genie shakes her head gently. Her head gently. She can do no more. Stark entering. May I help? He walks slowly towards them. May I give you this? 
He sits next to Jean and holds the palm of his hand, Jean is above her face. Her eyes are drawn to it, and she grasps and inhales deeply, speaks to him a soft, even tone, a place I once saw, and carry it with me a very long time. Jean, we rapturous, says, beautiful, it's beautiful, it's dark. For now, there, there now, just hold on to it, let, let go, it catches Jean's eye, they will draw from the room. Jean, the voice, he whispered, no, John, John, yeah, Jean, yeah, do you think... Things have been different. You could have loved me. John, yeah. Jean, kiss me. One more time, John. Shh, don't. Jean, is interrupting him. Kiss me. Place his lips on hers. Slow, gentle kiss. The longer than his side, she passes. John sits at bedside. Continues to watch her.